Let's make some juice. I'm going to initiate my new granite ware pot here. Um, it is a 12 quart 11.3 liter stock pot. Uh, my other pot that I normally use got a rust spot in the bottom and uh, I don't use my granite ware when it has a rust spot inside. If it's got a rust spot outside, I don't care. But here we go. We're going to initiate my new pot. Let's start with some Old Orchard Frozen 100% Juice, No Sugar Added Pineapple. Next, I got a bunch of frozen blueberries here. Oh, did I say we're making juice? I don't know how many blueberries that was, but that was all I had in my freezer. Next, I got a tired old apple here I'm going to use up. I'm not going to peel it. I'm just going to chop it up. Next, I got a tired old lime here. I'm going to peel it, de-seed it, and put that in. Now, before I add the other two cans, because you know the frozen juice needs, uh, what is it, two or three cans of water. Before I add the water, I'm going to do a little whizzing in there with my whizzer here. So, <laughs> be right back. Well, I thought I was going to do a little whizzing first, but this is too hard, so I'm going to have to add the water and then whiz. I added three cans of water, so let's see if that is thin enough to be juice. As you can see, that is not juice. That is puree. Puree. Well, I want juice, so I'm going to add two more cans of water. Make up for all them blueberries. Still a little thick for juice, so I'm going to add another can. Now, another uh, can full of water. Now, y'all, you know I added all those blueberries, so this is not scaring me so far. This is just more water than I was hoping to add. So this is where we're at. It's a little on the thick side for juice, but, ah, uh, what the heck, that's okay. Now. The reason I whizzed it before I put it on the heat is because whizzing it adds air. Putting on it on the heat now will take that air out. So, I'll be back when it's uh, all heated up. And why do I have to heat it up is another reason, because I added the apples. See, if I had done, if I had done just the pineapple juice or just the blueberries, or whatever, then I wouldn't have had to heat it up. But now I've got to heat it up because I've got those apples in there. My jars are waiting. And because I'm making juice and not puree or cooking apples or whatever, I'm not using my diffuser. Okay, y'all, we are ready to can. Now, some people remove this foam I don't. It stirs down, but that doesn't mean it's not ready to can. It stirs down, but a lot of people don't like that foam. Well, that foam doesn't bother me. So now, I'm going to do, oops, where's the light? I'm going to do two jars at a time, and I'll show you as I do them. Okay, there we go. First one. So one, ooh, oops, one half below the rim. I may have to take some out of that. Whoops. May have to take some out of that one. So just a second. Yeah, let's take a little bit out of this one. And a little bit out of that one. That's good. Now, I'm going to wipe the rim. Make sure the rim is nice and clean. Ooh, I'm getting y'all too close there. It's hot.
lid. Well, yeah, that's a lid. I get one there, yeah. Now I'm going to put it down because I want to put a ring on each one. And I'm going to do it just finger tight. Finger tight means you just feel it closed and a little bit more. So, just that. So there's the first two and they'll go back in the canner. And I'll do the rest and bring you back. Okay, they're all done. I've got 13 of them. And I had this much left and that's just fine. Uh, when this cools off, I'll put it in the fridge and I'll have a good glass of cold juice tonight with my supper. So here we go. Lid on. Gas on. And wait till it comes to a full rolling boil. This is not a boil. This is the air being released from inside and around the jars the one half inch headspace on these jars. This is not a boil. We have to wait for a full rolling boil before we can start timing. This is not a boil. This is a full rolling boil. So what do we do? Now we start our countdown. And in this case, It'll be 15 minutes. So I'll bring you back in 15 minutes. 15 minutes are up. Turn off the gas. Take off the lid. Count five minutes. Five minutes are up, so take the jars out of the canner. There we go. I got three, six, nine, plus four, 13 jars. Wait, 24 hours. Okay, 24 hours. What do we do now? First off, we remove the rings. Next, we check the lids. Now, what are we checking for? It should be concave. Now, not it's not going to be like sucked down really hard. Well, it can be sucked down really hard. But it shouldn't be bubbling. There should be no give in the lid. No give. There should be no pop, 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 pop. It should be just no give. Okay, after you've checked the lids, then you write on it what it is and the date. Now, I have gotten in a habit. I used to work with civilian time uh, dates, which is a little different from the military time and dates, and it was a little confusing there. So I got in the habit of everything, everything, everything. I write the month out. Whether I put the day or not is not important, but I always write the month out. Because then I have no, if I wrote, let's say, 0609, 2020, well, is that the sixth day or the sixth month? Is it the ninth day or the ninth month? So I got into a very good habit years ago. I always write the month out. Now, if you want to, if you feel you need to, you can wash the jars and then stack them in your uh, pantry. I don't feel these jars need to be washed. And you might wonder, well, why did I use these little jars? Y'all, I can stick one of these jars in the fridge. If it's juice time, pop one open. There's my glass of juice. So that's why I try to use as many. Okay, so there's two days. <laughs> there's two days or a big gulp. <laughs> so there you go, y'all. There is my juice. Um... Thanks for watching. Shalom, shalom, everybody. Give me a thumbs up. Ooh, got a short nail today. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. Say something down there in the comment section so I know who it is that stopped by. Bye.